During the COVID-19 pandemic, the future of small businesses is looking more uncertain than ever. But in Over the Rhine, a hub for small businesses in Cincinnati, Ohio, business owners have found creative ways to persevere. Tessa Clark, a local designer and manager of clothing boutique Idlewild, has found a creative way to reach out to clientele and collaborate with other boutiques. When the pandemic sort of happened and then Governor DeWine in Ohio here uh, put the, the shelter in place, I, I knew that I was going to have to engage with viewers and our clients and consumers in a different way. I was chatting with one of my part-timers and she was like, you know, I know this sounds silly, but you know, with like on Facebook, people have shopping parties. I think there's something there where you could, you know, go live and chat with people. So I was like, okay, we'll try it. And I'll invite other boutiques on the block and in the area. This is the first time we all kind of like, you know, collectively we're like, okay, we're gonna do something every week to kind of help each other out to get through this. I think collectively it's been a good thing for all of us. In addition to the shopping parties, both Tessa and Ivy have continued to prioritize the experience of their clients who are now shopping from home. I was like, okay, you know, most of our clients don't know my body type or know what this might look like moving on a body. So I was like, okay, I'm going to just like try this try on video and see what it does, what the reaction is. That way people know, okay, this photo isn't Photoshopped or they can relate more to what it looks like. I just posted my second one yesterday and it has almost 2000 views already. And I've seen sales from the things that I've tried on. And this is something that I'm going to continue even after the pandemic subsides. I'll take things from, you know, Sloan or any other boutique in town that I work with and drop things off for 24 hours so they can try them on. Or, you know, when we were able to work with people, I would gather everything and take it to their house so they could try on before they committed to buying. Sloan has been doing that even before this started. My other business is a wardrobe styling business, so I already have been doing that for years. We're just enhancing that now, like I'm delivering to people that are core customers of Sloan that we know very well, so that they don't have to feel like they have to spend the money until they really get to try it on. If anybody, if any industry is prepared for this, it is the fashion industry because we are innovators and we are creative thinkers and we have been taught and trained to adapt. And especially as a designer, it is a cutthroat industry and so I feel like we're pretty resilient in that.